<laughs> it's said when you take a picture of someone, you capture their soul in a camera. It's also said that if you print it off, that picture contains the soul itself and you can control them with it. I'm not sure where to start. You do know what the do you know what the primordial soup is? It's a veritable ocean of elements, all floating around randomly, and through millions of years of time, eventually the right set of random circumstances pass, and the elements were able to connect together and form the world's first single-celled organism. Now that's a really boiled down version of it, but I'm sure you get the gist of it. Fast forward a few billion years to the early 1990s, where when internet used began to rapidly accelerate. Every home had a computer, and a computer, and new connections between computers were opening on by the second basis. Trillions of bytes of data began to transfer around the world at the speed of light, music, text, sound, and most importantly, pictures. Now if, when you take a picture of someone and capture their soul, what happens when that picture is converted to data and placed on a hard drive? Does the soul follow? Fifteen years later, we believe so. We believe that when you take a picture of someone and upload it onto your computer, alongside the image data, a blueprint of a person's soul itself is imprinted on the file itself. Look at the pictures folder. How many souls reside in the folder alone? That's just the beginning though. These soul blueprints each retain pieces of a puzzle, parts of a soul itself as well. Recently, a group of hackers who refer to themselves as the Cardinals took an interest in the theory and began experiments. They found abnormalities within the binary sequence of images based on similar features of the person they had taken a picture of, a binary DNA if you will. Now these hackers have come to possess a set of three extremely important data files. One AVI, one JPEG, and one MP3. Each of which possessing interesting unexplainable qualities. The first, Cradle AVI, depicts what appears to be the group of teenagers in a low quality video camera. Exploring the basement of a house. The quality of the video is disoriented and completely beyond any comprehensibility and the video is very low quality. For most of the video, the camera passes around the group, handled back and forth and jerked around too much to make anything noticeable out. But near the end of the camera turns at an odd angle. You can see semi-clearly out a young girl standing in the corner facing the wall. Her hair is long and black and she is wearing some form of white dress. You can only see her for a split second, but many people who have seen the video claim there's just seems something wrong with it. A bit deformed, but not in the way anyone can explain. But the truly peculiar proper property is the video is that happens when the user's computer at the end of it. On the last second of the video, if not already so, the video will force full screen itself. Along with this, you are left with one second looping clip of a, of a window in a wall. It loops 15 times. And then the girl is seen again, standing on the other side of the window with her back to the viewer, slowly waving back and forth. After a few moments, the video ends and the computer's, user's computer permanently shuts down. Inspection has shown that the entire registry becomes completely corrupt, requiring the user to do a total wipe and reinstall. The second file is known as Needles MP3. This sound file, when played, plays for about three minutes. It is extremely disoriented. One can occasionally make out some form of voice talking, but most of the sound is from a growling, rolling, crackling roar. Users who listen to this file often experience extreme nausea and loss of balance for a brief period of time. The final final is known as Burning Man JPEG. 
the file name has nothing to do with the actual picture depicted. Instead, it is displayed as a hazard mess of overlaid and meshed images of dolls in the hallway. There also seems to be an image of a man standing on his head cast down in the background, but the image is too distorted to make anything out, much like the other files. This image, when downloaded and open to the user's desktop will proceed to stay permanently open on whatever program it is open through. Not only that, the program beyond becomes disabled. Nothing much nothing else happens though. The image just permanently sits there on your desktop, unclickable, unminimizable, and you're just left there with a man's invisible gaze staring at you. From what the group of hackers were able to discern, this file seemed to have Precompiled into the data along so, something along the lines of Kim Dao. Yet, as complex as intricate as the program is, it works across all OS platforms. No one knows who the original creator is. In fact, few people have heard of it as the file is uncopyable or, nor sendable. This, in fact, further adds to the mystery as often receivers of this file will obtain it from random anonymous emails posted on forums or data downloadable links. Posing the question, how is that poster able to upload it? If you ever see any of these files, re refrain from downloading any of them. They all have very determinable effects on your computers from practically taking out your whole registry, corrupting system 32, freezing your now or crashing your computer. Now onwards. The group of hackers, the Cardinals, took the analyze these three files and comparing the odd behaviors. They had heard of such odd files, data, image, etc., but were never, never able to get their hands on them. At least as far as we know, Though rumor states that in fact we were able to locate and collect all the known files, like the original Smile JPEG, Barbie JPEG, even Suicide Mouse AVI. Not even the Grifter was able to escape their grasp. Rumor states, but rumor also states the Grifter video even exists. But that's another story. Nonetheless, all these files in hand, the group line lined the files up and began metricously working on the binary one zero slash one at a time checking for similar strains of series of binary and that matched and they did manage to successfully do so at least legend states the result was seven individual execute files that did nothing simply a gibberish file of O's and ones, they endlessly puzzled over the files, each tackling the executive each. They decided to name them after themselves. Lust, gluttony, greed, envy, sloth, wrath, and pride. At last, they attempted to line the files up. Remarkably, something odd happened. The files were... The copies of the files quite suddenly meshed together. It resulted as a single complete execute. Already named Barely Breathing EXE. And what of this file? Well not much else is known at this point. They were too small to just execute it. They analyzed the file every possible way, hex, binary, conversions, or anything to figure out what the odd file would do. To no avail, even after forming together, it was just an even bigger jumble of ones and zeros that made no more sense than the separate executes. They backed the file up on the flash drive and proceeded to run it. It was the last command found run on their destroyed computers a week later. Their corpses had been disfigured beyond recognition. Descriptions of the corpses stated that it almost seemed as if they've been brutally slashed across their faces and arms. Every square inch of skin that has been, has been bare and mutilated. 
almost microwaved and then sliced repeatedly at the micro-thin razor. The government attempted to hush up the event, but there was some media leakage. Because the Cardinals had been keeping a blog amongst themselves and a few close friends, it's closed down and deleted now, so don't go trying to find it. It quickly spread out as per what they had been attempting to accomplish. And if it was or was not related to their terrible deaths. And what of the flash drive? A friend who knew of his existence later checked the home of the group and was unable to find it. According to reports, the drive was found in a pocket of one of the group and had been taken into custody by the police and then simply vanished. The trail continues on far more though. The file resurfaced every few weeks around the globe. Governments attempted to cover it up, but some media leaks out, of course. Some of the news were previously mutilated on their own homes by a murderer. Their computer stolen, etc. If you ever get a cryptic email with the attachment labeled barelybreathing.exe, for fuck's sake, do not open it! <laughs>